Even today, a lot of people still wonder, why do we even need quantum computers? What do they actually do? Let's break it down with a simple and relatable example. Did you know that simulating just a single molecule of caffeine is something that even the world's most powerful supercomputers can't handle properly? Sounds strange, right? But it's absolutely true. These supercomputers, the same ones that can run massive calculations like weather forecasting and rocket simulations, still struggle to fully understand the complexity of a tiny caffeine molecule. So the next question is, why do we even need to simulate molecules? Here's the answer. Molecular simulations are crucial in fields like drug discovery and medicine development. Whether it's creating new medicines or speeding up vaccine research, we need to understand how molecules behave at a deep level to make these processes faster, safer, and more accurate. Now at this point, it's fair to ask, if our home computers can run flight simulators, weather models, and even war games, why is one small molecule such a big deal? And here's where it gets interesting. When we go down to the atomic or molecular level, the world doesn't follow the normal rules of classical physics. This is the realm of quantum mechanics, where everything operates on uncertainty, probabilities, and strange behaviors. Classical computers were never designed to deal with this. Quantum computers, however, are built specifically to operate in this unpredictable subatomic world, and that's where they shine. Let's come back to our example. A cup of coffee contains about 95 milligrams of caffeine. Even if you take just one tiny drop, it would still have quadrillions of caffeine molecules. But here's the mind-blowing part. We're talking about simulating just one molecule. And even for that, a classical computer would need around 10 to the power 48 bits of memory. If that number sounds big, here's some perspective. The total number of atoms on Earth is estimated to be around 1.3 times 10 to the power 50. So yeah, to simulate one molecule, you need almost as much memory as all the atoms on the entire planet. That's how insanely complex the quantum world is and why quantum computers are not just useful, but essential for taking on challenges classical computers can't touch.